I want to say to that choir, when you all were singing just a few minutes ago, I did everything in my power to stop from getting on that floor dancing and shouting. When the spirit of the Lord gets in the place, everything else needs to take a second seat. what folk have gone through all day. You don't know what they had to deal with and what demons were coming against them. And they said, if I could just make it to the house of the Lord, because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And you'd like David, I was glad when they... I began to reflect and think about what they were saying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You see, see, the devil wants to steal your thank you, Jesus. He wants you to complain and grumble. But I'm like David, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall be in my mouth. Somebody put something in your mouth. Clap your hands and bless God. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be up here long. Don't fool yourself. But I, I just need, I just, I just need this half of the church to praise God for what he did. Hold it. Now I need this half of the church to praise him for what he's going to do.
God bless you. Second Timothy chapter one. Just give me seven Kojic minutes. I don't need no towel. I ain't gonna be doing that. give me one more opportunity to tell you to switch. For what he's done. For what he's going to do. For who he is. Second Timothy, you can take your seat. I'm not going to be long at all. Second Timothy chapter 1. I, I just want to tell you all that God is good. No matter what you've been through, God is still good. And, and God has a way of making a way and... Uh, and showing himself strong. For over 30 years, Asha, my son traveled with me. And everywhere I would go, my son would travel with me. But I lost my son in January, tragically and unexpectedly. And, and I was flying down here to San Antonio. And while I was flying down here today, I, I looked over to the right because normally he would be there. And, and, and I, I, I began to become heavy. And, and I started writing and putting something on my phone and talking to God, asking God why. Why, why this? Why now? What did I do, Lord? And, 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 and I began to just lamentate unto the Lord. And then I told the Lord, I said, here I am flying all by myself. And when I landed, to my surprise, one of my district superintendents learned that I was coming down here, drove to Chicago, and got here before I got here. And when I saw him, everything that had me heavy just began to lift. Somebody ought to shout, God is a lift. Please take your seat. Preachers, you can sit down. I, I'm going to be done, I'm telling you, in seven Kojic minutes. After I read my scripture, but let me tell you, the reason why some folk can't get nothing from God, because they won't give God a praise. But your victory is in your praise. Your strength is in your praise. Your joy is in. Listen. I'm going to leave you alone and go to my little lesson and sit down. But just shake somebody and pull them and tell them, I'm coming out of this. And I'm bringing you with me.
2 Timothy chapter 1. you feel the presence of take a minute and clap your hands and open up your mouth Second Timothy chapter one. Preachers, please be seated. Verse seven and just the first part of verse eight. Woo. See, see, I don't make no excuse for praising God. All you see is my shoulders moving. But the shoulders are moving cause it's down in my belly. Cause I heard him say, if you believe on me, as the scripture has said, out of your belly shall flow. All right. Second Timothy chapter one, verses seven and verse eight. A, please sit down, preachers. I know y'all like to stand for the word, but y'all making me nervous because there's something down on the inside. The Bible says. Somebody shout. The Bible says. I mean, shout it like you know that it's the authority. Shout, the Bible said. Yeah, somebody else shout, the word said. Mm -hmm. Here's what it says. For God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Somebody shout, power. And of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. And, and, and I just stopped by tonight to make an affirmation. I'm not ashamed of my testimony. Can you shake somebody near you and tell them I'm not ashamed? Or speak to them like you know what you're talking about. I'm not ashamed of my testimony. I'm not ashamed of my testimony. You see, your testimony is your story that signifies what God have done for you. In the old church, we testify, giving honor to God to his son Jesus and to the Holy Ghost. I thank God for being here. And after being here, you find me saved. Anybody here saved? Sanctified, filled and baptized with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Then you gave your testimony that after all you've been through, you still have joy. The devil tried to steal your joy and steal your peace. But somehow, God made a way out of no way. And then before you sit down, if you really are church of God in Christ, you told the saints, pray. 
my strength. Shake somebody near you and tell them, pray my strength in the law. Pray my strength in the law. Paul writes this letter. He writes it from prison to his son, Timothy. And his son, Timothy, had seen a whole lot of things. He had seen the persecution of Paul. He had seen them beat him and left for dead. But Paul had proclaimed, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. You've got to make up your mind that I'm not ashamed of my testimony. In other words, the things I used to do, I don't do anymore. The places I used to go, I don't go anymore. He put a new song in my heart. He put clapping in my hands. He put shouting in my feet. I've got a testimony. I don't look like what I've been through. You just know my glory, but you don't know my story. I've had some tears some tears to shed but I praise God no weapon formed against me shall prosper I thank God that after every round goes higher and higher and I made up my mind there will be glory after this every round has gone better and better I've come to encourage somebody. Don't give up on your testimony. Hold on when the storms are raging. Hold on when it seems difficult. Weeping can only endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. God has not given us a spirit of fear. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of the terror by night because I have power, power over the devil, power, power over the enemy. And I heard, I heard him say, ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. How many of you got the Holy Ghost? Shake somebody near you and tell them I've got the Holy Ghost. Find another witness and say for real, for real. Well, well, I heard one of the old saints say, while I was up talking and preaching, the old mother just said, glory, glory, glory. I said, mother, don't say that anymore. I said, hold it, I'm trying to preach. She said, glory, glory, glory. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me and said, Mother's been through some things. And, 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 and she sees the glory of God. And God has given her inspiration and hope to know that no matter what it looks like now, that God's going to turn it around. I need somebody here that knows God is getting ready to turn it around. And you're not afraid of your testimony to shout glory, glory, glory. That ain't all. When she got to the third glory, she took a dip. I wish I had about a hundred of you here. 
that on your third glory, where you know you got the victory, you just take a dip. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. If you know you got the victory and you're not ashamed of your testimony, then shout glory, glory, glory. And then take your dip. I'm going to my seat, but before I sit down, Somebody may say, Brother Bishop, what was the dip for? That just means that the Lord made another way for me. He opened up another door for me. This time, if you know God's going to do it, shout glory, glory, glory. Take your dip. Give God the praise. you doing now brother bishop all i'm doing is said after my glory every time i turn around he keeps on blessing me I've got to quit, but I need you to testify to somebody because you said I'm not ashamed of my testimony. Now you need to testify and tell somebody what the Lord did for you. He saved me. He strengthened me. He blessed me. He made ways out of no way. He opened up doors. Praise the Lord. Help 
yourself. Hey. I'm getting ready to pray.